everybody. Today I'm gonna to do a side-by-side -side comparison video with two different 46 inch nine drawer mobile workstations. <laughs> Actually, that's not what we're gonna do. And I spent about two or three hours shooting clips before I came to this conclusion. And I'll tell you without a doubt that one of these is built a lot better than the other one. I bought them both on the same day. They were pretty much the same price. The Yukon was $289, the Husky was $298. And I had them both in the back of the truck and I thought honestly when I unpacked them they were going to be the same box with a different label on them. But after going through these and seeing how they're actually built, one is built a lot better than the other one. So what I want to do in this video is show you really what the main advantages are to one of them over the other. And then what we'll take a look at at the end is which one would be the best choice for you. Now in my opinion, one of them only has a couple advantages that you most likely won't even use. And if you're looking at them side by side, one is gonna be a lot better choice. Now what I'd like you to do before I even start this video is leave a comment below this video and tell me which one you think is gonna be the winner. And then at the end of the video, follow up on your comment with a reply and tell me if you were right or not. And what I'd like to know, if you don't like either one of these, or maybe you don't like a mobile workstation, what toolbox would you recommend and what toolbox should I check out next? Leave a comment below this video and let me know about it and I'll be happy to check that out and it may be featured in an upcoming review. Now the first thing you'll notice with these side by side is the difference in height. The Husky is taller coming in at 39 and a half inches. The Yukon is a full three inches shorter coming in at 36 and a half inches. And depending on how tall you are, one of these might make a lot better choice. Now, as far as I go, I'm 6'2", I think they're both comfortable, and I have workbenches almost the same height as each of these. But if you were taller than me, the Husky would probably be a better choice. And if you were shorter than me, the Yukon would probably be more comfortable for you to use. Due to the added height, the Husky has slightly larger drawers and a total storage capacity of 16,145 cubic inches. The Yukon's capacity is roughly 15% less, coming in at 13,810 cubic inches. However, the weight capacity of each box will be also different. The Yukon has 100 pound rated slides on seven out of the nine drawers, with the two deep bottom drawers having double slides, each with a 200 pound weight rating per drawer. The Husky also has 100 pound slides, but on all nine drawers. The two lower deep drawers on it also only have one set of slides, meaning the total capacity as far as weight goes on those bottom drawers will be half of what the Yukon is rated at. The total weight capacity of the drawers are roughly 20% higher on the Yukon. And although it has less overall storage capacity, meaning cubic inches, the weight capacity of the tools stored in the drawers can be significantly higher. The casters on each box are extremely similar. They're five inches high and each have two stationary and two locking swivel casters. The major difference here is the way they're actually attached to each box and the Yukon's using much larger bolts that are threaded into rib nuts. The Husky's using very small bolts and they're actually threaded into a thin piece of sheet metal that's been spot welded on the inside of the box and then it's threaded with maybe one or two threads. Here's what a new rib nut looks like, and to install one, you'd simply need to drill a hole corresponding to the size you're using. Then you'd thread the rib nut onto a rib nut tool, such as this new version from Astro Pneumatic. Then place the rib nut in the hole, activate the tool, and it compresses the metal sleeve, mushrooming it in place. What you end up with is the sheet metal on the toolbox literally sandwiched between both sides of the rib nut, making it permanently installed. The side handles are attached exactly the same way and the Husky is using fairly small bolts along with that same thin tab of sheet metal spot welded on the inside of the box to hold it in place. The Yukon is once again using the rib nut construction with larger bolts to hold its handle in place. And both handles can actually be installed on the left hand side of the boxes, the right hand side, or you can remove them completely to save space in your garage if you don't plan on moving these around very much. Having a large flat surface is very helpful when you're working on a project and both boxes have an 18 by 46 inch wood top that doubles as a workbench. In an air conditioned and heated space, you shouldn't run into problems with humidity causing warping of the wood top. But if you are in a location that has high humidity, such as an unheated garage, the Husky will begin warping almost immediately. That's because the top on it is held in place by gravity and then some raised metal edges to prevent it from sliding off the top. Nothing physically attaches it to the metal box underneath. The Yukon, however, is bolted from underneath 
through the metal surface and it cannot slide off and it's also not going to twist on you. If we notice, underneath the Yukon is a large cross member welded in place to prevent twisting and bowing. But when we look under the Husky, the surface is completely flat with no additional support. They each have a high gloss black finish, but I did notice the Husky had numerous spots that were touched up prior to me unpacking it. I assume this is due to damage received in shipping, and although the color matched fairly well, it looks like someone used a nail polish brush to apply it. Also worth noting is the interior of the boxes. The Yukon was almost completely coated in paint, and the Husky was only hit with a very minimal amount of overspray. Now remember that both of these boxes are made in China, I bought them both on the same day, and they are going to have different warranties. The Yukon comes with a 90 day warranty out of the box, but you do have the option for a one or two year replacement plan, which would be an additional charge at the time of purchase. The Husky does come with a three year warranty right out of the box. Now the other thing to remember, the Yukon is going to come with pre-cut drawer liners for every single drawer included at no extra charge, and the Husky does not come with any drawer liners, and you would have to buy those separately. So now you've seen a side-by-side -side comparison with the brand new Yukon box from Harbor Freight and the brand new Husky box from Home Depot. Remember that this Husky box is not the same one that you probably already own because it is a brand new model, either from a new supplier or a new design. So although the older version did have a lot of five-star reviews on their website, at the time of me purchasing this, it had very limited feedback and I would assume that it is a cheaper model than the one that they used to sell. Now what I'd like to know is which one of these do you like better and which one would you purchase? Leave a comment below this video and let me know which one that you think is the clear winner. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.